Good evening to you all from Loftus Versfeld in Pretoria. It's round two of the 2023 Curry Cup and two old rivals clashing at this wonderful venue in the heart of Pretoria. The Vodacom Blue Bulls against DHL Western Province on a perfect evening. Not a cloud in sight, a few storm clouds around a little earlier on this afternoon and just a light breeze as well, but just about perfect conditions. The Loftus Versfeld in wonderful condition and this is how western province line up captained in the second row by ernst van rein we partners young connor evans Vinny engelbrecht makes a first curry cup appearance for western province having lifted the famous gold trophy in the colors of the erling pumas last season and he has a 50th appearance in the curry cup ruan nokia also in the second row for the vodacom blue bulls captains the side alongside Ruan for Mark and this is a team with five members of the pack who took no part in last weekend's first round Curry Cup game against the Pumas here at Loftus Fairsfeld. For the Bulls, well three Springboks there, Bismarck Duplessis and Mornay Stain with well over 50 test caps each, also Embrose Papier. Western Province going for a 6-2 split in favour of the forwards with just Godlin Masimla and former South African schools player Bruce Sherwood the two backline options for the visitors this evening so the Vodacom Blue Bulls coming off a defeat at the hands of the defending champions the Pumas 63 points to 15 here at home at Loftus in the first round and the DHL Western Province were away to the Lions in Johannesburg they won that fixture by 44 points to 28 so confirmation of last weekend's fixtures. The Cheetahs off to a winning start against neighbors, the Griquas and the Sharks, victorious against the Griffins as well. DHL Western Province away for the first three rounds of the competition last weekend against the Fidelity ADT Lions here at Loftus Fairsfeld this evening and then uh, away to the Sharks on Sunday next week in round three. The Vodacom Blue Bulls will take on the Cheetahs in Bloemfontein next Friday, the 24th. And so Ernst van Rijn out of the tunnel, followed by his front row, Quenzo Blosser, Andre Hijo Fenter, and Sazi Sandi. Plenty of experience in that midfield for DHL Western Province. Jean-Luc Duplessis partnering Juan de Jong. And Ernst van Rijn, South African schools player back in... 2015 and then consecutive years in the colors of South Africa under 20 in 2016 and 17 leading this relatively youthful DHL Western Province team up on the high felt for a second consecutive week and now it's the turn of Ruan Nokia to bring out the Vodacom Blue Bulls And this is a pack, packed with power and experience as well. Plenty of URC experience. Johan Krobela makes his first appearance after missing out last week. And also, you look into the backs, Cornell Hendricks and Zbou Nkosi with test match experience. Elrich Lowe at number eight, who made his test debut last season against Wales. And Ruan Nokia alongside Ruan for Mark and with Gerard Steenkamp, Johan Krovela and Mornay Smith in front of them will look to dominate the set piece and provide this back line with plenty of good quality ball. Friday evening in Pretoria alongside me in commentary is former Springbok fly half Butch James. Good evening Butchie. Good evening Matty. A uh, huge north-south derby. A bit of a tale of both unions, you know, the, the Vodacom Blue Bulls on a bit of a low at the moment where the DHL Western Province on a huge high. The URC team playing really nicely and a nice win for them in this Curry Cup last weekend. So contrasting two teams, but the Blue Bulls have picked a strong team for this outing. It really is a strong Vodacom Blue Bulls outfit and it's Chris Smith who gets the game underway. Clayton Blomakis came forward to claim but could not do so. And Zach Berger, the man to clean up position away by Krobala and quickly away for Creel coming up from fullback clattering into Willy Engelbrecht ball ripped away and Ernst van Rijn 
Gets the ball away for Blomakis, who's looking for a 50-22. Brilliantly kept in the field of play, but now pressure on Chris Smith. Good chase line from Western Province. Engelbrecht up there to make the tackle. Yes. And Zach Berger away for Steenkamp. Clean out from Johan Probala. He's quickly back on his feet to provide a little bit of a platform here for Zach Berger, who gets the slightly lengthened ruck. Puts his hoist on to Blomakis, who met it on the run and beat his first man. Blomakis cleaved through and popping a clever little pass inside. Penalty. Yeah, just a penalty only. Yeah, he definitely just a penalty. Yeah, penalty only. Penalty for a high tackle. It was Paul De Vett running the support yeah, line who four. took the brunt of the tackle. High tackle, okay. And Griffin Colby, the referee, saying that it, the attacking player slipped. Yeah, it was a lovely break from Clayton Blomick. His, his forwards did really nicely to create a little bit of a gap from him with some good blocking. And that is the high tackle. Paul De Vett just ducking a little bit. He's short already. So always hard to make sure you get those tackles below the shoulders when you are tackling the scrum offs. Ruan from putting a hand up in apology. He knew that uh, he'd just gone a fraction high. And from straight in front, Cade Volata adds to his tally. That's 50 in curry cut rugby now for Cade Volata. Scored 19 last week in the victory against the Lions. And his tally for the season up to 22. Yeah, it was Ruan Nell wide on the right-hand side wing, just calling for that ball from Clayton Blomikis. Maybe a little kick pass, because it would have been way too far to pass it. Very similar restart to the first kick of the game from Chris Smith. This time, Blomikis able to deal with it, away by De Vett And Volata hoisting towards David Creel, does well. Slipped the tackle of uh, Ruan Nell. Berger. And the captain, Ruan Nokia, with his first carry. Smith. Yes, he's fine. Long way for Clayton Blomikis to travel back. And this time, opting for touch. Quick throw in. Creel gets it back from Smith. Again, a good chase line, this time from Suleiman Hartzenberg to make the tackle. Late change in jersey numbers for Hartzenberg, who's playing on the left, and Ruan Nell. Originally, Nell named as the number 11. He's wearing 14. Plenty of testing kicks on to Clayton Blomikis early on dealing with them pretty well so far Van Rijn's carry fine ball was out and ball was called out now Western Province were trying to look for the counter ruck but it's on here for the Vodacom Blue Bulls Chris Smith lovely little inside ball for Harold Forster Berger running the support line and here's Boon Corsi magnificent try Slick handling in the build-up, clinical finish, brilliant from the home side. Yeah, absolutely but brilliant from the Vodacom Blue Bulls. Great turnover from the forwards and then lovely handling. David Creel in at 10 to the Chris Smith at fly for the lovely ball inside. I thought that ball to Harold Forster inside was maybe the wrong option, but they worked it really, really well. Nice little switch and Spoon Corsi with an easy stroll over. But that's wonderful handling from the backs. You always want to take that turnover ball out wide. And the Vodacom Bulls did it really well. Oh, Zach Berger with the switch. Lovely link play from him. And a great floated pass to Spoon Corsi. And as we've come to expect over many seasons, the running lines from Harold Forster. Unbelievable really is an unsung hero in any team he plays in. Chris Smith, 
245 points in his Curry Cup career. Didn't take part in last weekend's game against the Pumas. From the left-hand touchline, and he's just pushed that wide. There is that turnover. I'm not too sure if that ball was out just yet. The ref thought it was, and that's all that counts. Maybe a little bit off his feet as well, but you've got to give the Bulls a lot of credit. That's wonderful finishing off. And Spoon Corsi, he is a brilliant finisher, but that was a bit too easy for him. A 15th try in Curry Cup rugby for Spoon Corsi. And the first one in a Vodacom Blue Bulls jersey. Right, play on. Play on is the call. Oh, Quickly taken. From, from throw Drew. in by Western Province. Away yeah, by yeah, Wallata yeah. for Juan de Jong. He has lifted the fabled Curry Cup as a Western Province captain in the past. Defensive line very quickly up onto Sazi Sandy before he could make any headway. It was a very flat ball Advantage. from Blomakis. He was looking for Marcel Tennyson. Ball lost forward. And we will have the first scrum. Now this is going to be perhaps a decisive factor in this game. If you look at the the experience of the tight five of the home side compared to the visiting side. Yeah, especially from what we've seen so far, a lot of general play and both teams wanting to throw the ball around. And also both teams' defense being really solid. So this is going to be a huge part of the game, that scrum as well as the line-out, line-out more, set piece. So this is where it's going to start. It's tight five. That's where the game's normally won in most games. So a big challenge, especially for this DHL Western Province pack, a young pack up against a, a little bit more experienced Vodacom Bulls team. Time off. Yeah, timing from both teams. Timing from both teams, yeah. Slow cadence. Time is off. Props. Andre Hijo Fenter squaring up against up. Johan Krovola. Worth it's noting what? that there are two capped Springboks on the bench Time on either side Coach. at Hooker. Bismarck Duplessis with 79 Bye. test caps. Scaron Tubeni with just the ones Sit. earned here at Loftus Vesfeld back in 2019. Quick pick up at the back from Elrich Lowe. And it's the ball over. out of the back of the hand, it was lost oh, forward. It's over. And this is Keke Morave trying to get away from his man. Gets the offload to Paul De Vett. Another stunning piece of counter attack. This time from DHL Western Province, the move finished by Paul De Vett. But Keke Morave showing extraordinary pace up the left flank. Yeah, and so did Ulrich Lowe. He did really nicely to break off the back of that scrum. He just needed to hang on to the ball, not go for the offload. Thank you. Sold his wing Q and Nokia down the river a little bit there with that pass. But that is just brilliant counter. We saw it now with the Vodacom Bulls try how they counted from a turnover. And that's a great reply from Western Province. Plenty of pace from Paul De Vett. and you mentioned it Matty, KK Morabe, how good was that? It was a pretty decent hit in the tackle as well yeah, from Suleiman Martinberger that dislodged the ball. Both, both scrums actually holding up quite nicely. A pretty evenly matched first scrum. And Kate Volita splits the uprights for a second time from a difficult angle. I actually be looking forward to the battle of the nines, Paul Devet and Zach Berger. Both exciting scrum offs. There's that tackle you mentioned, Matt. And that's a brilliant carry. Plenty of pace as well. He's a big boy. And a great offload to get the try. Advantage knock on. Three identical restarts Advantage from the Vodacom Blue Bulls. Good hands from Sunday for Juan de Jong. Quinzo Blosse with the carry. 
Connor Evans helping him into contact. Volata. Very flat on the game line for Morabe. And quickly back in position, Volata to try and make that offload. Oh, clearly went forward. Yeah, but the intentions there from <laughs> DHL Western Province, wanting to keep the ball in hand. Volata, maybe a second too long with the ball in hand there, putting Blomakis under a bit of pressure. Just remember off the arm, please. Okay. It was great to see, and it must be said, good defence that time from the Vodacom Bulls. Scrum Just number two. Stability and control. It's located, okay? No blind this time, so more than likely going to come to this open side. Crouch! Sit. Huge effort from the Blue Bulls back in the whoops of delight. Audible for all. Clear dominance there. Yeah, much stronger scrum from the Vatican Bulls. I think that first one they would have had that pre called that Ulrich Lowe was going to break down the blind. They saw them practicing that quite a bit in the warm up. It's just the aware I think it would have been a good option actually, just defense. that first scrum to do this exactly what they've done in the second go and try and dominate your position, get into their heads, tell them you're going to be scrumming them all day. But they've done it now, so, and they've gone to the mall probably. Exactly. I was going to say that they, they want to assert themselves even more now with their, their first opportunity to try and set up a mall but the, the first part has gone awry simple read made by western province poach a line out on a blue ball's throw and volata with plenty of time to make his clearance yeah that's brilliant defense from western province Good steal from the, the forwards. A lot of movement, must be said, from the Bulls in that line out. Well I'll read from adjust, the Western okay. Province pack and an equally good kick from Kate Volata. No problem this time for Krobelar and for Mark Forster. Oh, his pass. Easily read and intercepted by Volata. De Jong passes the ball out of contact. Here is Ruan Nell. Excellent stepping from Nell, but going slightly lateral. Volata for Tiernison, who can be relied on to regain some momentum. Then the pick and drive from Vili Engelbrecht. Slightly loose ball there for Paul De Vett and he was looking for the pot to Keke Morabe. Just all a little hurried at the base there. Yeah, a lot of little passes going on from Western Province, which is good to see. The Buttercom Bulls trying one there through Harold Forster, but not going to hand. Morabe just with the knock on, maybe just taking his eye off, trying to see where that next tackle was going to be coming from. And this does give the Vodacom Bulls another opportunity come scrum time. Will they go for that penalty or will they try to get this out? Right in the middle of the field, two options either side. Crouch. Really tough job this for Clayton Blomakis to make sure he covers the full backfield. But he will be wanting his Just pack to make sure that they are solid up front and don't give away that penalty, which will give the Vodacom Bulls easy meters and also give them the put into the line -out. Don't milk it as well, okay? Thank you. Time back on. Coach! Sit! Sit! Bye! Sit! 
down on the far side and allowed to continue. Forster and Hendricks and Corsi. Jean Luc Duplessis went low in the tackle. Corsi at the same time just losing his footing. Smith. Cross kick. Just, just a fraction too far. Maybe it went backwards. Maybe it went backwards to play on line out there. I'm happy it went backwards, Lionel. Yeah, not a bad little option from Chris Smith. Didn't have too many other options, really. But I'd love to see Q and Nokia in a bit of space. He looks like he's got plenty of gas. Thought that little kick was a bit too far ahead, but he got there pretty easily. No, yeah, maybe no, gentlemen. needed to put in Set a bit more effort just to make sure jump. he did catch that. Can't run and jump. Could've maybe first, please, caught okay? it and stayed in play. Finta finds Van der Rijn. Once! Both Van Rijn and Evans working hard at the front of that wall, but making no headway at all. Awkward one for Jean-Luc Duplessis. Who goes to the boot and straight into touch. Take the ball, take the ball. Oh, it's touch. It's touch, it's touch. Yeah. That wasn't great from Western Province. A little bit of indecision at Lana Town. No, no one was too sure who was meant to be doing what. And it got left up to Jean-Luc Duplessis. So it wasn't his fault that that went out on the full. It put under a bit of pressure. It has given the Vodacom Bulls a good attacking opportunity now come Lana Town. For the lock, for the mark. And away by Engelbrecht. Nell. Morabe. Looked to be setting off on a run and a drifting pass Let for Blake Robakis. Did brilliantly. Let go of the ball. Picked it up. Went back on his feet and straight into his stride again. Clayton Blomakis. Looking around and just swarmed by light blue jerseys, not the hooped ones. But still they regain possession. Devet, Duplessis, another carry from Morabe, Devet, lost forward, scrum advantage for the Blue Bulls, Forster, to the boot he goes, and chasing his own kick, Nell is back, backwards. taps it backwards, and gets away from a couple of tacklers. Ruan now now bursting through on the counter. De Jong and Voliter to his right. Cade Voliter, yet another piece of counter-attack brilliance. Yeah, and they deserve a rest, end-to-end -end stuff. Great counter from the Vodacom Bulls after some brilliant defense from them, getting the turnover. Time is off. The kicker is injured. Coming from the ref, that Volita may be a bit injured. This is brilliant from Ruan now. Just the effort from him compared to the Vodacom Bulls players. It's only Harold Forster up there putting an effort to get there. Good fend comes in from Ruan now. Cramps. Cramps. And great support from Kate Volita to crash over for a try. Okay. He is getting seen to at the moment. Cramps. Might be a bit of cramps, Thank is you. what they're saying, but it's only been 18 minutes. Okay. Well, a second try for DHL Western Province. The first scored by Paul DeVette. Now his halfback partner, Cade Volta. And a despairing attempt from David Creel. As you mentioned, that is brilliant piece of improvisation from Ruan Nell to keep that ball away from the chasing Harold Forster by tapping it backwards. 
we'll check that, but you've got to secure your ball bet at the back yeah, yeah. as well. And your point is a good one. They'll, they'll be disappointed with the kick chase there. It was Forster only. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Which presented that opportunity. Almost from right-hand touch and pulled across the face of the uprights. But that second try, and Cade Vollett is second in Curry Cup Rugby, creates the 10-point lead. Yeah, it was something that Jake White actually mentioned this week, was that he felt that his team had given up, which he wasn't happy about. And I'm sure that's another effort that he wouldn't be too happy about and would be pulling his hair out in the coach's box. Nice contestable restart from the Blue Bulls. Hartzenberg, the man to secure the possession on the ground. Devet. Now Hartzenberg gives chase, but brilliantly out of the air from. He was tackled. He was ripped to tackle. Play on. Ball ripped in the tackle, oh, says Griffin Colby. Some protests from the home players to no avail. Second consecutive hoist from Paul Devet, not getting as much distance as he would have liked. Then Zach Berger. With his chip and chase. Volata. Again with, with plenty of time and space. Only six Berger six, chasing wait, his wait, own kick. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Deep onto Chris Smith. They put him on back on side. Of course he waits. Play on. And quickly take and throw in. Okay, cool. Play on. Volata. Creel all alone at the back. Nothing really on for David Creel there. Just have a look yeah. what happened here. Did I this touch a... I thought maybe it came off Ruan Nell's... Oh, no, he actually, he's actually missed it. If he had put his hand on there, he might have found himself in a bit of trouble, actually. Can't come in before the time, okay? Stay out as a receiver, okay? Yeah. Stay out as a receiver, you can't come in, okay? If you're a receiver, stay out. Don't come in before the time. Follow. Follow me. Yeah, six. Don't move them off. Don't move. Oh, fun rain. And then away by Fenter. Advantage. Strong running Advantage line from Joan de Jong, but lost forward in contact. And Hendricks floating a pass away for Creel, looking from Corsi to his inside. And Paul De Vett hammered in the tackle by Johan Krobola. Yeah, it was a good tackle in midfield. I think it was Harold Forster on Joan de Jong to get the turnover. And then the Vodacom Bulls taking it wide. Ball inside. Goes to Paul Devet. And the coaches on the side were screaming to the linesman that it was Western Province ball. But it is the Vodacom Bulls ball. Contest on the throw to Ruan Mokia. It looked like a potentially high shot on Marco van Staden. Berger going to the short side. Backwards. Corsi. Lost it backwards. For Mark. Helped into contact by Johan Krobala. But turnover. Uh, no longer. It, is. it was a double turnover there, Butch. Western Province allowed to affect the turnover. And then Vodacom Blue Bulls player on his feet. Contesting the breakdown. Yeah, it's no wonder the players are already cramping. It's been end-to-end -end stuff. A lot of turnovers each way. So 
Uh, not too many breaks in play. It's been a really entertaining first 20 so far. That's, that's the first one. It's a brilliant turnover from Western Province. And then Johan Krobala spotting his opportunity. <laughs> Yeah, he may, maybe ended up off his feet, but the initial would have been holding on. Ball. Krobelov finds Ruan for Mark. Advantage. Advantage. Penalty yeah, advantage shown to the Vodacom Blue Bulls. So, a free play here for Zach Berger and his back line. Harold Forster almost carving his way through, but quick ball for Berger. Side. Then the captain, Ruan Nokia. Berger to a pot of forwards, away to his right. Still on advantage, says Griffin Colby. Kobala. Quick ball for Berger. Round the corner comes Nokia. Good energy on defence from Western Province, but then Cornell Hendricks. No one can stop him at that pace, that close. And following his try against the Pumas last weekend, Cornell Hendricks over for his 13th in his Curry Cup career. Yeah, great patience from the Vodacom Bulls. And their leader, Ruan Nuki, is certainly leading from the front. A lot of effort from him in that build-up. And a great angle to finish it off from Cornell Hendricks. Cutting in. Oh, quite often those defenders, they're all watching the ruck, seeing when the ball's going to be out, and they forget to get to look up and scan and see where those runners are going to be coming from and that was well exploited from Hendricks brilliant little angle and a brilliant try from the Vodacom Bulls what a way to strike back and they look like a, a pretty sparse crowd over on the famous east stand at Loftus Festival but a decent crowd in on the the main grandstand and they have been treated to some wonderful rugby in this opening 25 minutes or so two tries a piece Chris Smith now to add the extras which he has done and deficit back to just three yeah it was good patience and at one stage I thought that the Vodacom Bulls weren't sending enough players around the corner there you even see Rua Nakia going by himself but it's that angle from Cornell Hendricks that makes it and also those two Bulls forwards that came around the corner attracting a few of the defenders allowing Hendricks to find the gap great to see a player running at space as opposed to a would-be tackler just picking his moment picking the line between the two defenders Blomakis let go of the ball I'm not sure that he was completely back on his feet to play that ball may have got away with one there Engelbrecht well, that is Godlin Massimla yeah. in at, at scrum half just uh, scanning around there's been a bit of a reshuffle here it looks as though John de Jong might have gone onto the wing here's Bromakis inside his own half well read by Chris Smith Volato is back Bromick in support but no heroics from Volata he kicks tight to the touchline away to Cornell Hendricks Creel now you might get your wish Nokia Strong tackle on the Blue Bulls captain, but away for Smith. Then Forster. Hendricks. And Corsi, his pass Backwards. on the bounce and not taken cleanly by Chris Smith. First, and create a little bit of pressure. Close to their 22. Berger just assessing his options. And it's going to be ruined for Mark. To set up another ruck, give Chris Smith time to be back in position. He's hobbling a little bit. Berger's hoist. Volata came forward. Or backwards. It was backwards. Together. What? 
Yeah, I don't think they've gained too, many, too much ground, the, the Bulls. It's going to be a Western Province it's line out there with a couple of balls that went backwards, yeah. Q and Nokia does really well in the air, gets it back. And that ball gets hit out into touch by Marco van Staden. It's a clear swap for the scrum offs, for the vet or for blood. So I'm sure we will be seeing him back again once he is all stitched up. We mentioned at the start, just the two backs on the bench, Godlin Masimla and Bruce Sherwood for Western Province. Masimla under pressure. Gets his toss away to Polita, who is met with a real mighty thud in the tackle. No, no! Play on, good timing. Big tackle in from uh, Marco Jack van Staden, who then doesn't roll out quickly enough. Yeah, that was a huge initial hit. It was either Kyle Brink or Marco van Staden on Ed Wolita. He's made his way back up onto his feet though. Going to have a shot at goal. And there is that big hit. Got up nicely, just not on the ball. Otherwise he could have been contesting for a penalty himself there. Well recovered from Western Province. A penalty, a conversion and a try so far for the DHL Western Province pivot. A little bit of the wind knocked out of his sails there in that tackle. <laughs> Couple of deep breaths. And uh, back on form. It's pretty understandable that after scoring the try and getting some treatment wasn't quite there with the, the conversion attempt from the right hand touchline of his own try but that one sailing through and Smith has overcooked that by some distance yeah, and I was actually just about to say that the restarts from both teams have been really good. Both of them trying to get the ball back when it is their time to kick off. Nice few short ones, one down the middle from the Vodacom Bulls, a nice short one to the left from Western Province. And both of them doing well in getting that ball back. I, I really like that option of seeing where the opposition are short, kicking there and winning the ball back. given Western Province a great attacking opportunity. Right. Center field scrap. See what trick they've got up their sleeve. Bye. Sit. There's a knee on the ground there. That's an interesting call because on this near side, Suzy Sandy was yeah, the straight first. down on the knee. Yes. The same to me, Sazi Sandi with his knee to the ground before Gerard Stian can put his hand down. A little bit further out than his previous one, but that one before absolutely sailed over. This will give us a better look at it. The knee first. Oh. He's got him for pulling it down, so maybe that's the reason he, his knee hit the ground. Kate Volita has taken this uh, about two meters back inside his own half. He's, he's going to have was, no problem for this thing. Scrum was on the center spot. And that one just wide. <laughs> Be nice for him to get that take the lead to nine points yep. get away from that converted truck smith straight down to blomakis 
who asks uh, Cade Volata to give chase to this enormous hoist. Creel safe under the high ball. Strong tackle from Volata who rolls out almost into the path of Zach Berger. Long run formed by Mornay Smith and, and Johan Krobelar fully bound. Berger's hoist. Lost forward by Blomakis. Van Staden. Strong offload in contact. There's no advantage there. Back for the Vodacom Blue Bull scrum. Yeah, no advantage. Initial knock on coming from Clayton Blomakis. Do you just get that feeling that the Vodacom Bulls, they need their big ball runners to get into their groove. The likes of okay. Marco van Staden and Ulrich Lowe to give them that go forward before they start moving it around. Paul De Vett there back on having uh, had the blunt injury attended to. So Godlin Asimla back to the bench. Always a nervy time for a coach who's gone with a 6-2 split to lose a backline player early. It then limits your options because you can't really do a tactical substitution too early. So there will be some measure of relief that Paul De Vett is back and able to take his place. Penalty advantage at scrum time. Yes. Creel. Driven back in the tackle. Berger. Mornay Smith. Yes. Krubelar. Then Stian Kamp with the strong carry and excellent ball presentation out the back from Nokia. All the way back to where the scrum took place. Not staying straight in the scrum, Western Province. Just buckling under some intense scrum pressure, conceding the penalty. Yeah, it's a pity that ball didn't go to hand from Ruan Nokia to Chris Smith. There was a lot of options out wide yeah, for the Vodacom Bulls. Western Province were outnumbered. Five to two, it looked like. So, real pity for them, but they still on attack and in a good attacking position now. Krobola for Mark with a very clean take. Flat from Smith to Forster. Okay. Arm out for advantage from referee Griffin Colby. Right, Berger looking for an offload option. Out the back from Ruan Nokia. Smith. Opportunity here for the Vodacom Blue Bulls. Marker from Staden. Bouncing off defenders. Forster. Big tackle from. Ruan Nell and from Vili Engelbrecht. Yep. Tag teaming him. You're holding him in, you're holding him in. Yeah, okay. He's not rolling away. Advantage. A new advantage. Second advantage. Not rolling away. Carry from Kyle Brink. And then Cornell Hendricks, scorer of uh, the Blue Bulls' second try. Another carry for Brink. Oh, beautiful offload for Zach Berger. More excellent advantage played by the referee, Griffin Colby, which allowed Berger to time his run, take the little pop pass. Third try for the Vodacom Blue Bulls, under the posts, and a simple kick for Chris Smith to take the lead. Series of strong carries from Kyle Brink. Then Ruan for Mark. Drawing a defender. Thank you. And Zach Thank Berger you. running the perfect line off for Mark's left shoulder. Once for Mark had committed a defender to the tackle, there was space yeah, aplenty for Zach Berger. Tenth try. Just that's yeah, all clear, right? In Curry Cup rugby no for no Zach Berger, break former break captain break of uh, the Griquas down in Kimberley yeah, before yeah. making his move up to Pretoria. 
And the Vodacom Blue Bulls into the lead by 19 points to 18. Less than 90 seconds to play. Quinzo Blosser had to commit to that tackle on Ruan for Mark, but Zach Berger fully aware of the space that opened up as a consequence and simple line for him under the post. Visiting side in no real hurry to get back to halfway. Sure, they will kick off deep. Just try and there was no separation in the hand, so you can't keep it knock on. Run the clock down a little bit. Creole. Budger just arranging his forwards for perhaps a series of carries to bring an end to the first half. Stian Kump is the first carrier. He goes again, he wants Marco van Staden in place. It's going to be Elric Lowe with support from Kyle Brink. And then a little dink into touch from Kuan Nokia. He has had not had a great deal of opportunity over on his right wing. The few times he has got the ball, he's shown some great pace. Three tries to two in favor of the home side. Half time at Loftus Fairsfeld. Vodacom Blue Bulls 19, DHL Western Province 18. Bulls certainly dominant at scrum time in the first half, getting the better of the scrums. They did concede one scrum penalty. But otherwise, in, in the tight, they, they certainly seem to have had an advantage. Cornell Hendricks, scorer of one of the tries after running a beautiful line, claims the second half restart. And we can see a change for the Blue Bulls as well. Looks like Francois Klopper is on at tight head. So Mornay Smith making way at half time for Klopper. Ball allowed to bounce a wild pass away by Sazi Sandy. On the ball. And Willi Engelbrecht never shies away from contact. Set up by Marcel Tiernison. And then the hoist from Cade Volata. Another test under the high ball passed with flying colors by David Creel clever little chip through from Chris Smith good chasing back from Paul Devet got his pass away to Volater and then Blomakis and here is an opportunity for Suleiman Hartzenberg little chip from him can't regather oh, it looked as though there must have been a knock in there not called by the referee they might come back to this if it goes any further Devet goes yeah, digging in. There's a penalty advantage being shown to DHL Western Province. Bulls not rolling away at the previous tackle. Devet looking for a runner. Finds Volata, but a good defensive read. Devet again and the into the corner. I'm happy with the pass. Goes Ruan Nell. So a third try, the perfect way to start the second half for the visiting team yeah wonderful stuff from DHL Western Province and pretty much similar to the first half coming from a turnover taking it wide and then putting it through the phases nice patience from Western Province that was really well done by Paul DeVette beating his man one-on-one -on -one and creating the two-on-one was a questionable knock-on after the chip and chase the Hartenberg chip and chase another tough one for Cade Volata right from the touchline
So Volata from the right hand touchline. Wonderful kick. Yeah, lovely stuff. Tall de Vet. Getting ball in all well read by Spoon Corsi on defense. But yep. Tall de Vet doing really well to follow up his pass, get around, create the two and one, and Ruan now getting a well deserved try. Played such a pivotal role in the build up to Kate Volita's try. Engineering a wonderful counter attack from just outside his own 22, Ruan Nell. Now in for his 15th Curry Cup try. He wasn't part of the team that defeated the Fidelity ADT Lions in Johannesburg last weekend, so his first Curry Cup appearance of the season. Yeah, good exit from Western Province. Good take from the kicker from Jean-Luc Duplessis. Gap is good, we can go. To mark the target at the front, then Elric Lowe cleaning up an untidy ball in that five metre tram line. Brick. Untidily out of the back. Berger. Yeah. Looked like Kate Voliter in there, not rolling away quickly enough. Penalty advantage straight out in front on the Western Province 10 metre line. Berger. Beautiful hands from Hendricks. Corsi. Yep, got him. Got him. Yeah, they'll come back for the advantage. Uh, push in got the back from out. Spoon Corsi. Didn't allow him to play a little bit more advantage. Number 10, a lot quicker. That's what Western Province need to do. They need to get those big ball runners running at Kate Volata, trying to get the go forward. Kate Wolliter just not rolling away quick enough. And the Bulls have gone to the corner with a good kick from Chris Smith. Wonderful to see Spoo and Corsi back in action in the light blue jersey. Got a try in the first half. 16 test matches to his name. The last time he played was against New Zealand in the 2021 Rugby Championship against New Zealand in the Gold Coast. Oh, sack is good! Sack is good! Fair sack called by the referee. As the ball came to ground and Western Province getting the scrum feed. So it's a couple of times now that the Vodacom Bulls have had the opportunity to, to drive off a, a line out close to the Western Province line, the first part of the job well done. Yeah, just not good enough from the lifters, actually, the supporters. They needed to be stronger, stay on their feet, fight to stay on your feet. <laughs> I'm saying that was very well sacked by Western Province. Okay, thank you. Connor Evans involved heavily with the sack. Don't push down, thank you. And this is an important play for Vodacom Bulls. They want to put the pressure on that scrum time, but you don't want to be giving away a penalty and let Western Province get out with the easy meters. Crouch! Bye! Sit! Francois Klopper on this near side, on the tight head for the Vodacom Bulls. Getting the squeeze on Quenzo Blosse. But the penalty is against Suzy Sunday. Yeah. I'm sure they're going to go to the corner, Matty. After the dominant scrum. Oh, they're going to go for a planned move. Ulrich Lowe, Stienekamp and Norkia alongside. They were a decoy, carry from Kyle Brick, 
And then Stierna Kamp pops up to take the pop from Berger, just a meter short. Again they go over the line, but held up. It's over the goal line. It'll be a goal line dropout. You can't fault the effort on defense. Now the effort was there, that's for sure. And much better effort as well from the Vodacom Bulls on attack. Well, it's that man, Ruan Nokia, their captain, and you can't ever question his effort. He's always giving 100%. But look at that, five, six, seven Western Province guys all jumping in there, making sure it's held up. And Kate Volater, happy to kick relatively shallow. Elric Lowe almost got away from Suleiman Hartzenberg. Just lost his footing in the process. Berger, Smith, and then Forster. Nudging it through with a grabber. Territory gain, but your Western Province line out throw. Yeah, not a bad option at all from Harold Forster. He's having a good game this evening. Maybe he wanted to just take a little bit off it as Scudder and Tobeni makes his way onto the field. Good fire. So Andre Hichofente getting a good 50 minute shift in. Scudder and Tobeni, who got his only test cap here against Argentina just prior to the Springboks' departure for Rugby World Cup in Japan. And the first throw from Ntubeni is short to the front of the line out, just looking to create a platform here. But uh, it has gone awry. Isolated in contact, penalty conceded. Yeah, a very friendly call that for Skara coming onto the field. Give him a, er a nice, easy early one to the front of the line out. But what it does do is put pressure on the next ensuing phases because you've gone right into that trams on the touchline. All the Vodacom Bulls guys waiting. Uh, also just losing his feet a little bit too early. I think it was Morebe. Almost getting pushed into the contact there. Krobala for Mark. Ball goes inside the five meter trams. It is surging forward and over. Try for Johan Krobala. A ninth in his Curry Cup career. Good work. And the peacemaker, Ruan Nell, <laughs> is in there. Krobala unhappy with something that happened after the try had been awarded. But that's lovely from the Vodacom Bulls. Nice and simple, no movement. Jumper just going straight up. They probably knew that they were going to drive, so there was no competing from Western Province. And once you get that more moving forward, it's pretty hard to stop. And that's probably where the little handbags came in. Hand on the head. So the Vodacom Bulls have a fourth try a bonus point try and then a kick from close to left hand touch for chris smith I'm happy they were Christy. Thank you. to take the lead once again yeah, well it could come down to one of these kicks matt it's been a really tight game so far both kickers kicking well Well, Chris Smith loved it the moment he struck it. And he has regained the lead. So conceding that early try, a couple of minutes into the second half, but now hitting back effectively. Yeah, lovely ball to the front of the line out. This time the supporters stay nice and strong. The rest of the packet get in behind. And they cruise over. Deep restart, Berger. Yeah, that's really well done by David Creel. I really am happy to see him at fullback. I think that is his position. 
solid under the high ball, got a great boot on him. Been used in all the positions of the back line. So good to see Hachiva Daimani back in action. Spent some time on the sideline due to injury. Keke Morabe had a fabulous first half, especially in the build up to Paul De Vett's try. That's not straight from Scarron to Benny. Captain, what do you want? Stop, line off. Stop. Marginal from Skaran Tibeni. His jump is not helping him, jumping a little bit across, which makes it look a bit skewer. The Bulls will be enjoying this, they get to scrum again. Do they go for the penalty mat or are they going to try to get this out and down the back line? Well, they've had the better of the scrum contest, that's for sure. I've only seen that one really quick heel where Elric Lowe made a quick pick up and worked quite a substantial blind side. Reset, both front rows going up, says Griffin Colby. Miss Lucy at side blows, doing really nicely for Western Province. So through and up not up and through okay probably going to get a There's message enough. from robbie kempson any minute now telling me that i got the scrum wrong <laughs> did look like he had the pressure on from the engagement yeah Klopper didn't look comfortable did he that, 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 that almost was shaking yeah that legs. right leg of his just didn't look stable Bye. on the set Around and in Tighten, is the call. In. And going around Western Province. Yeah, Tighten is coming in. Yeah, it looked pretty similar to the one that did collapse. So, probably was a call from Western Province to turn it around. And that's brilliant. Oh, wonderful. From Chris Smith. He was watching it a little anxiously. He needn't have. I still thought this coming in, and then you guys are going around. Yeah, they were probably were looking for a little left shoulder, Western Province, to make the Vatican Bulls only attack on the one side. There's a little bit of a blind jab. You don't want to make sure. Well, you want to make sure you cut out one of the options. You don't want them having two options. Potentially big moment in the game here, this having having regained the lead and having mauled so effectively for the previous try. And they press oh. home the advantage here. Side entry. Side entry. Penalty advantage call against Western Province. Just check that tackle. Forster tackle was that tackle high. TMO is being asked to have a look. Ruan Nokia. Tackle from Van Rijn. For Mark. Berger. Nokia once again. Low tackle from Tiernison. Playing on penalty advantage here. Klopper. Try! Francois Klopper gets a memorable first try in the Curry Cup. They say you'll never forget the first. No, you certainly won't forget that one. And it was great to see Klopper. He actually ran with meaning. A lot of the Vodacom Bulls forwards, they're going to have a look at this tackle. But a lot of the Vodacom Blues forwards are, Bulls forwards are carrying almost to set up the ruck for the next phase. Yeah, Klopper gets the ball in hand. He pumps his legs, stays on his feet, does the twist and gets his touchdown. Really well deserved. Well done, Francois Klopper. And Smith adding an extra two, so suddenly as we approach the final quarter, the lead is eight. Running at complete pace for the big man. It's really hard to stop him from so close. Managed to find the fly off as well. 
Mm. Well done and well deserved for the Vodacom Bulls. And Griffin Something Colby just explaining there that uh, the TMO, Christy Dupre, had had a look at that tackle from Jean-Luc Duplessis. Adjudicating that it was penalty only, so yep. advantage was applied. Ben Jason Dixon on for Connor Evans. Good contest. Hachiva Daimani looking to tap the ball back, and Cornell Hendricks stayed true to his task. Blomakis tested by Smith. Glosser. To the short side comes De Vett. Oh, brilliant offload from Jean-Luc Duplessis. Hartzenberg gets it away from Blomakis. That's another magnificent score. That is one tasty offload that yeah, we're going to have to have a look at. Now, the score sheet's going to say Clayton Blomakis, but that try is all down to Jean-Luc Duplessis. There was nothing happening until Jean-Luc Duplessis got his hands on the ball. A miracle ball. Tucks it in. Oh, that is amazing. Outrageous. Unbelievable. And Hartzenberg with ball in hand, really dangerous. Attracts in the two defenders and pretty easy for Blomakis to finish off. Thanks, so, fourth try scored for the visiting team. Just when the Vodacom Bulls had eked out yeah. that eight-point lead. DHL Western yeah. Province hitting back with their fourth try. And still just over a quarter of the game to go. We've seen some wonderful scores here at Loftus this evening. It's been a great entertaining game. And from the touchline, Volata on song. Couple more changes after that conversion. Yeah, well, we're going to be seeing this try a lot more in the recent time. This is going to be on every highlight reel around. That is just brilliant from the DHL Western Province. All right. And it's that man giving go. the try scorer a hug. Paul Devet, who's made his way off, he's had an outstanding game. Yeah, I spent some time off in the first half for a blood injury and he's now permanently replaced by Godlin Asimla. Also, Imbros Papir, who won seven test caps for South Africa. On its scrum half for Zach Berger. And Masimla's kick charged down by Ruan for Mark, away by Volata was well rescued, Tiernison, Blomakis, stepping his way through. No, play on. Blosser. The release. No release in the tackle on BJ Dixon. Tap and go from Godlin Masimla. All right, play advantage. And then Tiernison. Advantage from the side as well. Advantage, he's got an advantage. Penalty advantage, 45 metres out in the centre of the field. Ruan Nell runs a good line. And then Blosa. That is in the way, get out six. Penalty is against Marco van Staal. Godlin Masimla once ball. again thinking of the quick tap and go, but realising this one really is in range. Yeah, that offload has certainly got the DHL Western Province tails up. Just yeah. Having a full go after that box kick was charged yeah. down. They decided to have a run to Western Province okay. and they've done really nicely. That's Marco von Staden trying to get out the way. And because of him in the way there, not allowing the keenness to get to that stealer. So Lee Marvin Mazabuko is on for Sazi Sandy, a tight head as well. That change was made at the same time that Masimla replaced Devet. 
And I've been impressed with Blosser and Sandy, both props, especially their handling and getting around the park. Okay. So Leon Lyons remains on the bench as uh, loose head replacement. Cade Voliter struck it sweetly and has regained the lead. Sorry, you guys are making a sub to shoot. You're going to mark a sub. Sorry, you guys are making a sub. Sub. No, they wanted to go quickly, the Varacom Bulls, which is good to see. Because it does seem like Western Province have got all the energy at the moment. So Harold Forster is the man making way for Stedman Hans. And uh, another substitution being made as well. It's uh, young Bruce Sherwood replacing Jean-Luc Duplessis. Hartzenberg rises high to claim the restart. Leon Lyons now has replaced Quinzo Blosse at loose head. So only Dylan Deleu remains on the bench for DHL Western Province. Huge kick downfield from Clayton Bromakis. Chris Smith. And David Creel giving chase as Volata waits. Time for him to get his pass away to Bromakis, who skids the ball away. And that is an extraordinary 50-22. Tick, tick, tick. Ah, amazing. Unbelievable. He's been really solid this evening, Clayton Bromakis. Especially that very reliable right boot of his. And as soon as he struck it, he said 50-22, sir, to the ref. And that cannot go any closer to the touchline, to the corner flag on the five-yard line. Brilliant from Blomakis. That might just be the, the kick that wins Western Province this game, Matt. I'm not going anywhere near that as a prediction <laughs> right now. There's too much time left. This lead has changed hands so many times. Contest on the throw to Ernst van Rijn. And Grobola quickly through. He's got it. Nick Rowley. Turnover made. Papier away to Van Staden. Darmani in with a tackle and quick to bounce. Smith. Wonderful clearance from no, Chris first, Smith, so no, that little no, mini no, crisis no, averted. No, yeah, that's really, really well done from the Vodacom Bulls. Western Province with a brilliant kick into the corner, tails up. And they managed to smother them, steal the line out, and a brilliant kick from Chris Smith as well, taking play all the way up to halfway line. Let's go, Western Province. Skaron to Benny. Shorten line out again. There's a contest on the throw on to Ernst go, van Rijn from Ruan for Mark. All brought down by his own player. Krovala no. desperately trying to get in and affect the steal. It's not in his own half, so it can't be a 15 2. Just cleaned off it in time. Bit of a scuffle between the two hookers there. Krovala. And into Benny, lost Lay forward on. by yes. Spoo and Corsi, regained by Ernst van Rijn. Knock on, off the foot there, knock on there. So there will be a scrum with a new look front row for the visiting side for this knock on. Knock on. Yeah, I actually had plenty of time. Spoo and Corsi needed his teammates to be talking to him. He was keeping his eyes on the ball like every good winger should be doing. Tanzima, he's on for Stian Cup. A lot of tired bodies out there, so good time for the coaches to be making these changes. Bruce Sherwood made his uh, Curry Cup debut, former South African schools player. Debut 
in the Curry Cup last week with a much longer mop of hair than is this week. I think he might have got a bit of a ribbing. Ort got pulled in one of the rights. Coach! Sit! Solid from the province pack and little grabber through off the boot of Kate Bolleter. Good read from David Creel. Nell had hung back and quickly into his stride on the counter. Masimla. Dixon popped it on for Van Rijn, who lost it forward in the tackle. Just a knock-on advantage. Smith skips Hendricks for Creel. And Sherwood down to secure the ball. Does well. Hartzenberg, no room to move in there, but still decent strength from Suleiman Hartzenberg. A little fumble juggle from Dixon, who managed to hang on. Volata. But they're onside. Ball popped up. And Diamani. Too slow. And uh, Matanzima conceding a penalty advantage. Straight out in front. Free play for Volata. Go around quicker. You're in the way. 17, slow down the ball. Yeah, we saw it earlier. When Varakonbulls were on attack. The HL Western problem is not rolling away quick enough. Yeah. And this time it's Matanzima. What are you doing? Too slow yeah. to get out the way. Poles. And no surprise, Western Province going for poles. Well, Kate Volata, 19 points last week, Butch, in the, in the game in Johannesburg against the Lions. He got 20 already this evening, 15 off the Thank boot, you. plus one of the Thank four you. tries. To uh, stretch the lead out to five. He had a simple one early on in the game. His first penalty kick of the game was straight out in front. He hasn't had many more from this position. Yeah, I was about to say you can make it 23, Matt, but I didn't yeah. want to put the commentator's curse on him. Kicked really, really nicely. Blomikis. Sherwood takes the tackle from Stedman Hans. For Mark is looking to apply pressure on the kick from Godlin Masimla. Creel got the ball in a tackler at the same time. Nurkia. Papir. Drinking little run from the scrum off, but now Robola had to fill in in the scrum off position. Ball is available. Papier back on his feet. Advantage offside. Offside call against DHL Western Province. Papier. Krobala. Dixon went low. Smith. Hans. There's no advantage. Screen to offside. Yeah, it's Thank you. Eventually got offside. Masimla for offside. The thought the phase before he was also a little bit offside one or two meters so really pushing the envelope western province on defense now to the line they go again another good kick from chris smith it doesn't look like he's striking them that well but they're going in the right place matt Say had a solid evening off the kicking tee. 
Only one loss from each of them. And still Mornay Stein and Bismarck Duplessis, the two most experienced men on the Vodacom Bulls side, remain on the bench. Ones backwards! Province taking the Bulls more backwards for the first call. That looks like a potential side entry from Hachiva Daimani. But Papier away for Stedman Hans. Wants men around the corner. He has Matanzima as a target. Another pop, this time for Klopper. And, uh, well, a crucial interception made by Juan de Jong. Couldn't see where he came from. He came flying back towards his own line to make that critical interception. No, Clearance made. Yeah, brilliant from Western Province. The old campaigner, Juan de Jong. I haven't seen too much of him this evening, but he's one of those players that do do all the hard graft. And he certainly did do a little bit of hard graft to charge down. in this situation. Great tackle from Volata and in came Juan de Jong from nowhere. Watch them all. Van Staden running hard off the back Take of the out. Vodacom Bulls line out. Again, they bring runners around the corner. Krobelar the first. Then Klopper. Matanzima out the back for Smith. And, well, Marco Van Staden in his path. It's, it's an accidental obstruction, so it's just a scrum. Yeah, I can just see the frustration. Didn't have too many options. Chris Smith, and when he wanted to take the ball on himself, he had one of his own players in front of him. So, Johan Krobala makes way for Bismarck Duplessis. Also, not part of the Vodacom Bulls squad last weekend. What a resource to be able to call on off your bench. 79 Amazing. test matches. For South Africa. Just keeps going and going. And so too Mornay Stein. Okay. He's still yeah, sitting cross legged on the bench. I was gonna say it wouldn't right, be a go. bad option to get him on in case there is a try. And that would be the kick to the maybe so seal start. the game. But in saying that, there's been nothing wrong with Christmas goal kicking this yeah. evening. What off? Let's go, Western Province. Let's go. Now four conversions off the boot of Chris Smith. Five tries. Scored. That's it. Stand back on. Four Touch. tries scored by DHL Western Province, but four penalties from the boot of Cade Volata. As promised, new hooker, I'll remind you of the break foot, okay? Keep that. I'm just reminding you. Don't make excuses, but I'm reminding you, please. Have the break foot. Time is off. Let's go, let's go. Got to get the setup right before we can go. Time is off. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Clear break foots. Yeah. Oh. 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 Crouch. Bye. Sit. Well, it's Western Province getting. Keep it up. The benefit of the down. penalty this Lose time. It. One, two, three, just going down. Keep it up. And the referee indicating it's the whole front row at fault <laughs> in taking that scrum down. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you're not too sure, I think blame it on the whole front row. Thank you. From this side, it, it certainly You've did look like it was maybe Matanzima side on the loose head. It seemed to go down first. Might have been a call from the touch judge. Your knees on the ground first, it appeared, from the Vodacom Bulls from that replay. No, they was. I'm happy with they was. Sub, you guys are making a sub. So Yanko Swanepoel is on now and is at the front the five. of the Vodacom Bulls line out trying to contest the throw to Ernst van Rijn. Stay there, stay there. Once! Stay there, stay there. Maul stopped once and very tight to the right-hand touch line. Masimla goes to the air and lost forward by the Vodacom Bulls, regathered by in, Western in. Province. Masimla for van Rijn. Clean out comes in just in time. Tennyson goes low. Oh, a little dummy kick from Volata. Masimla imploring the referee for an advantage, which he gets. Blomakis. Taken low by no, no. Norkia. Masimla, Dixon. Just check if there was arms, Christy, number 23, blue. Another request for the TMO to check advantage a tackle. To slow. Another advantage for slowing the ball down. Away by Masimla. And Hartzenberg. Never brought down by a Bulls player. Daimani, Tennyson. Duplessis in over the ball. Captain, all right, go on. He's got a couple of uh, advantages against you now. It was one not losing the ball, you're not rolling away, and the tackle assist here. Just going off ground, scooping the ball back. That is a general warning now, okay? Thank you. And 23, 23, no arms tackle. That's a general warning. We're not going to discuss Western Province stuff now, okay? Sort your team out. Yeah. You've got, you've got a couple of advantages here. One year. Okay. Tackle assist. So a number of penalty past, advantages the brings a warning, and well, I think there was an attempt at, at a wrap there from Stedman Hans. His arms were just taken out by okay. the force of BJ Dixon. But now Cade Volata yeah, will okay. take. Every second available to him. Time is on. Just take the shot clock for me, please. Yeah. No, no. 30 seconds. We've got 30 seconds left. So he's just called cool that he's got 30 seconds, but. Just tell me, Christy, when there's 10 seconds. The stadium clock shows. But there are just about two and a half minutes 15, 15. left to play. And Volata puts over a fifth penalty City kick. Sort that out. And critically opens up an eight-point lead. Thanks. Another substitution made. Dylan Deleu, the final one. Western Province Craven Week player and also captained the Western Province under 20 side, Dylan Deleu. Made his debut for the senior Curry Cup side last week and now getting a second Curry Cup cap. Yet another hoist from Masimla. Creel. Sherwood. Got his arms around the ball in the tackle. Papir, Norkia, awkward one for Chris Smith, who was caught unawares. He's trying to arrange the players outside him. Papir, timing is good. Timing is good. Masimla, timing is run well, says the referee. 
pulls out. Swanapool. Smith, Hans. Some wonderful stepping from Stedman Hans. Strong work from Matanzima on the deck. Creel cut down by Ben Jason Dixon. Papir Matanzima. Inside the final minute at Loftus, Smith. Wonderful offload. And the tackle back on Villiers Tiernkamp had to be made. Smith. Klopper Play with on. the offload. Norkia, Papir. And Norkia once again. Blomakis managing to dislodge the ball in the tackle. On a scrum advantage, Ruan Nell. Time it's over. Is that time? And the clearance is kick is made. Time is up on the stadium clock, and referee Griffin Colby just getting the check from the timekeeper at the desk who confirms the time is up. And with that final penalty, the fifth from the boot of Kay Bonita. Western Province victorious by eight points. The standout player of the match voted by Super Sports commentary team. The fullback for DHL Western Province, Clayton Blomakis, one of the try scorers. They scored four in total to earn a bonus point and a wonderful kicking performance from Kay Bonita. Five penalties and three conversions from the boot of the Western Province fly half. He added a try to that as well. So 23 points in total. I beg your pardon, 26 points from Cade Volater with that try. And he did punish the Vodacom Bulls with his boot from the kicking tee. It was an effective line-out performance from the Vodacom Bulls, but they did have a couple of opportunities down in Western Provinces 22 at line out time, which they weren't able to convert into tries. Western Provinces defense tested at times close to their line. They showed a lot of heart. And their tight five really showed up. They did concede a number of scrum penalties in the first half, DHL Western Province but largely stood up to the threat of a, a more experienced pack and confirmation that along with the Pumas, Western Province have opened their Curry Cup campaign with back-to-back -back bonus point wins. Both of those coming away from home for DHL Western Province in Johannesburg against the Lions last week and now following up with a bonus point away win against the Bulls. That one point for the Vodacom Bulls by virtue of their five tries scored here at Loftus this evening. They take on the Cheetahs away from home next Friday. DHL Western Province take on the Sharks in Durban. But Butch James is standing by with the captains. Well, Ruan, first of all, thanks so much for a really entertaining game. But from your guys' side, unfortunately, on the wrong end of the result. Yeah, uh, thanks, Butch. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, Carry Cup is always a special tournament to, to play in and be a part of. Um, but yeah, very disappointed. Um, obviously, it's, 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 it's not been a good couple of weeks for us. Um, credit to, credit to, the, to the Western Province. Um, obviously, they're doing something right. Um, and uh, yeah, you can, you can just give credit from them. They capitalize on, all our, on our, all, all our mistakes. You mentioned the Curry Cup being a special competition. It's also a long season. You've, you've gone north from two so far, but it is a long season and, and a lot still to make up. Yeah, I know, definitely. Um, competitions are not won on the, on the first games of the season. Um, but yeah, I think uh, we can obviously, we know we can be much better than we, we've been the last month or two. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, I think it's just disappoint, disappointing and, and obviously disappointing to our fans. 
for, for, for us uh, not uh, giving them results. Well, heads up, you certainly do lead from the front and good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks, Butch. And I'll now bring in the, the winning captain, Ernst van Rijn. Ernst, tell me how proud you are of your boys, a, a young group of boys, one or two senior guys, but coming here to Loftus, playing against a really experienced team in the Vodacom Blue Bulls. How are you guys feeling right now? No, I think we, we're quite happy with that win. I think it'll be a special one. Some of the boys will remember forever. Um, but I think all in all, it's just a testament to credit to all the coaching staff, uh, the whole union, all the players. Some of these guys have been training for months without any rugby. Um, but the system is there. Uh, the will to play and to play for each other is there. And I think it showed tonight. Yeah, it certainly is showing. With regards to tonight's game, where did you guys feel that you had the upper hand and maybe that what got you over the line to win tonight? I think uh, we backed our defence, um, so playing rugby in the right areas. Um, I think the once or twice we let them in was when we couldn't get out our, our own half, um, be that discipline or poor exit. Um, and that gave them opportunities and put us under pressure. Um, but I think once we got the kicking game right, um, let them run from deep and back our defence and work on that, um, then I think we, we slowly but surely got the upper end, especially towards the end of the second half. Well, well done on a brilliant win tonight and good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks very much. Eh? Cheers.